Hey guys, I know a lot of you guys also sub Bruce's channel, so you may have seen this watch over on his channel, but now it's my turn. So Bryce over at Time Locker sent this guy over to me to also take a look and give my honest opinion of the watch as well. So first thing I want to talk about is the size. So we're going to break that down and then we're going to talk about some of the things that I really like on this watch. It is a 42 millimeter case, 50 millimeter lug to lug, no drilled. Um, so it's going to have a nice smooth uh, profile to it, uninterrupted. And I know a lot of people are indifferent on that, but I have to say, um, the more watches I get on the channel, I'm not big on changing out the straps. So I guess if you're a you know a guy that likes to change out the straps, maybe you'd prefer to have the uh, drilled lugs. But a really good strap tool can pretty much get the job done, and it makes the case profile look much more clean. I think without the drilled lugs, but Again, that's personal preference. Uh, 14 millimeter thick, but that includes that double domed sapphire crystal and 22 millimeter lug width. So I know a lot of you guys prefer like the 40 mil size. So right away, um, you know, this is not that watch. It is a 42 and it feels like a 42, but it feels really good on wrist. Now I want to talk about some of the things that instantly drew me in is how clean and sharp the finishing is, I mean, look at the polishing on that relief line. You can see my reflection in it clearly. And you're talking, this is a sub $300 watch when it launches on Kickstarter. I'll put a link in the description and update it when it goes live. And that brushing is just perfection. I have not been exposed to a watch with this good of finishing below $300. Plus you have a really nice coin beveled or a coin bezel. And then you have the ceramic bezel insert with loom, screw down crown, so it's a 200 meter water resist. It's also signed. And, and then the dial is a beautiful, almost like a white glass look to it with a really nice date cut out. Um, just slightly uh, towards the 5 versus the 4, but like nestled right in there. This is a Seiko NH35 movement, so it's positioned like that to center the date you know, the date wheel. So that's why that's done that way. It's it has to be done that way. And then you have great applied indices and then also the numbers there with the open nine and the open six. So the handset is proportioned perfectly for this dial. And I really like that, that it's framed out in black. There is other colorways, but this white dial one is just so beautiful. And then that really nice looking blue accented seconds hand with the tip of it dipped in bright red. So it really stands out. I really like the color play on this guy. So, all right. Now, I, guys, I seriously cannot get over the finishing on this. The finishing on this is superb. I also like that they did the reveal on the coin bezel where it's polished there too. That really ties in with all the uh, polishing. 120 click bezel, feels great, perfection. Um, basically no play. I don't feel any play in it. Lines up perfection. And you guys got to remember, this is under $300. That's, this is a really good value opposition. Really nice leather strap. Oversized buckle signed. One uh, fixed keeper, floating keeper. And then it's also going to come with a very nicely done NATO, also with matching hardware. And this is um, not quite like super fine seat belt type NATO, but it's also not that stiff stuff. It's like a sweet spot right in the middle. So both keepers here are sewn in. And then of course, you know, it's going to be blue and black to tie in with the colorway of the watch. So I think we have a total winner here. I'm going to pop it on wrist. There is a ton of loom on this thing too. Um, this is a prototype. So keep that in mind too. So if you see any defects or flaws or anything like that, um, it's a prototype, guys. The final production is going to be, you know, top-notch. The quality control should be there. I don't see why Bryce would do anything other than have a really good quality controlled product at the end of this. Um, if he's already coming out of the gate with this clean of a build, I can only imagine that the final product is just going to be an insane value. Um, and I think overall the watch just... It seems familiar, so you know there's like some homage stuff going on, but it seems still like fresh and new. And I even really am a big fan 
of the font used for the logo up at the top there. It's just, it feels more alive, I guess, you know, with that cursive. And I know that's uh, divisive for a lot of people, but I really like it personally. So I don't know, guys, this is a really fun one to like kind of study and uh, look at up close. Um, I know there's a couple little things uh, like you, and I know I was reading the comments on uh, Bruce's video, but that'll all get cleaned up. I talked to Bryce about it. So um, the finishing on this, don't touch it at all. The finishing looks amazing. The overall concept of the watch, I'm a big fan of this. And then the price point, I don't know how some of these guys, I don't know how they make any money at, uh, you know, below the $300 mark by the time they do all everything they have to do. Um, I don't get it, but this is a really good product. So big thanks to Bryce for sending this guy in. I appreciate it. It's always nice to see a, a really good micro on the show. Uh, let me give you a loom shot. And you can see it's loomed out really nice, guys. It's always nice to see those applied larger numbers filled with loom. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.